you're always professional in the lead up to fights. Uh, you'll return respect like you did with Vladimir Klitschko. Then if someone gets in your face or crosses the line, you can get fired up. What category does uh, Otto Willeen fit into at the moment? Um, that's what I say. It's just about the energy someone possesses. Um, it's more about what happens face to face with me because people will always be different away from your face to how they are in your face. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have nothing much to say about him. He's just an opponent so far in my face. He hasn't done too much. So it, he's just another opponent I have to defeat. Understood. What do you make of him in terms of pluses and minuses? I, I know you might not watch a lot of them. You might leave that down to, to Ben, but what do you make of him as, as a fighter? He has a lot of pluses. He's been victorious on most of his occasions, except for one. So he's very talented. And um, yeah, he's, he's, he's a, an avoided heavyweight, as they say, and um, someone that I'm taking on. So um, I give myself credit. And uh, yeah, he's a good fighter for sure. You won the championship, your first world title, I believe. I'm doing this from memory. Charles Martin was a southpaw. You then had 24 rounds with Yusik, which is almost a master's degree for anyone going against a southpaw like, like Yusik for that length of time. I would imagine now you're extremely comfortable going against the South Post stance. I thought you performed brilliantly in the second fight, despite the the, the points defeat. How do you feel now going in, going in against a, a left-hander? I feel, you know, yeah, those lessons, even in in the losses, I can still take lessons from, and I think they've been good. Obviously, um, being with good people that that can obviously help me develop from there has been helpful as well. So I've got a great team that have been with me that are pushing me forward. I've been in the trenches a few times with Southpaws. I've been victorious and I've lost some. And I think it's going to do me a world of good in terms of how I deal with seeing another Southpaw on Saturday. Um, you, it's hard to believe I was checking that you're 34 years old now. You'd probably fit into the veteran, character, <laughs> uh, the veteran category, which is a compliment, which is a compliment, right? How would you compare uh, Anthony Joshua 2018, say, 2017-2018 to Anthony Joshua now given how much you've seen all the world championship fights you've had honestly um, I had a I had a bad few years and um, I think I can't say right now but I thought we're gonna we're gonna get better than what I used to be definitely definitely I'm not definitely. gonna ask so about we'll your see. sorry yeah. sorry AJ sorry carry on no we'll, we'll see we'll see so far I'm, I'm building again I've been victorious in my last two outings, but um, I need to have a few more victories to say like I'm I'm better than I used to be. But at the minute, I'm I'm bubbling. We're gonna get back. I'm not gonna ask about Deontay Wilder. I just I'm gonna put it this way. I'll frame it this way. What are your thoughts on the on the, this process where you're getting asked about fights that have yet to come, rather than the than the man that you're you're facing? Um, what, what's your thoughts on you know looking ahead? Everyone's want to look ahead. If it's not. If it's not Wilder, it's Fury, and, and uh, that that's where the, the the conversation seems to take you these days. I think it's I think it's fair. I think it's fair because as a as a fan, I always look at it and say, well, if I was a fan of an athlete or someone that got a chance to ask questions, I want to hear what do they think about this person and that person. But for me, answering, I've just got to be like I'm fully focused on what's in front of me. With all due respect, um, I know you have an interest in in my career, but right now my career is Otto Wallin. That's my career's on the line. So, yeah, that's just where my head's at. Got you. You've accomplished so much already in your career. What dragons are, are left to slay? What would you want to get done? Um, and I'm not talking about just opponents. Like, in terms of your, your legacy, you know, you're now yeah. looking to become a three-time heavyweight champion. Uh, what more is there left to do that would make you satisfied? It's about, like, just get, getting so much better. I feel like I've got so much more to give. Um, I want to hit, like, it's like I want to hit a new level of strength, a new level of fitness, and it just helps me become a stronger person mentally. So when I feel like I've accomplished all these goals, when I'm, yeah, it's interesting because a lot of people want to leave at their pinnacle. I don't want to leave. I want to stay when I'm at my pinnacle. So I'm constantly fighting to get higher and higher and higher. Probably I'll leave when I'm at the bottom. When I'm getting beaten a million times, that's when I'll be done. Because why would I leave the game that's keeping me at the top? In terms of my character, I don't. Why would I leave? Why would I want to stay there? So when I'm getting beat and I feel like I need to find something else because I can't reach pinnacles anymore, that's when I'll be like, I'm done with boxing. <laughs>